Winter 2017 was a pretty good season for anime, with plenty of good shows to choose from. Today I'd like to talk about one of the less popular shows from that season, Hakumei Tomikochi, and why I think it's pretty cool. The show follows the lives of two 9cm tall girls, the tomboyish carpenter Hakumei and the mature Mikochi, as we're shown the daily life they lead in a world where not everything is as tiny as they are. The two of them live together in a tiny house in a forest and are surrounded by equally tiny people called inchlings, as well as sentient forest animals as they coexist in a proportionally sized tiny society. The show has a slow pace into it, as with each episode you see a bit more of how life is in this world. From Hakumei's work in the Carpenter's Guild, where the widely different heights of each employee give them different roles, to more exotic things like the recluse scientist Sen who discovered how to make animal bones move by using sound, the world of Hakumei Tomikuchi is a surprisingly interesting one. I think it's exactly because it's so interesting that it doesn't take a lot of time to get wrapped up in the scale, as you forget that these characters are tiny and start seeing other things as huge instead. Good examples of this can be found in this terrifying encounter to have with an owl or in how every food item is really big to them, making tools like this tiny coffee grinder that breaks each grain individually a necessity. From a narrative standpoint, this warped sense of scale serves less to cement how they are tiny and more to create a society where each individual can vary widely in shape and size. This serves to create various interesting moments, like what I think is one of the best practical jokes I've seen in some time, as they introduce a character that is your typical country girl who moved into the big city to live a more glamorous lifestyle, except she's a beetle, and the only discerning characteristic she has is a tiny pink bow. And while you may laugh at this at first, I guarantee that by the end of this episode the fact that she's a bug will have faded away completely from our mind, and you will be as endeared to her as you would to any other cute anime girl. It's a funny gag that exemplifies how things are in this society where so many different creatures live together, and how it makes for some fun moments. Character dynamics are an important part of any slice of life show, and here they are mostly restricted to the relationship between the titular main characters. The relationship is a very mature one, where they feel kind of like a married couple. Hakumei is usually very thick-headed and headstrong, but she shows her more uncool side when she's next to Mikuchi, and Mikuchi herself is known around town for being a very Yamato Nadeshiko type Japanese beauty, but she shows that she can be a bit immature when she's near Hakumei, and this relationship they have when they provide support for each other is what carries the show's story as they meet different people. From a technical standpoint, the show has a really cool visual aesthetic that gives it a fairy tale-like look and features heavy use of this paneling technique that, while perhaps a bit gimmicky, gives the direction an interesting touch. The soundtrack is very serene and accompanies the scenery well, furthering the sense of comfort the show has. Overall, I'd say that Hakumei Tomikuchi is a must-try for Slice of Life fans who enjoy a slower pacing or for people who just appreciate interesting worlds. The creator clearly put a lot of thought into the world of this show, and he even released a world guidebook to accompany the anime. If I were to point out a flaw the show has, I'd say that it can get a bit serious at times, but it's nothing major and didn't hinder my enjoyment of the show at large. And that's why I think Hakumei Tomikuchi is pretty cool. If you liked this video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing for more. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.